In this video, we will have a look at a list view, a simple list view in Android. So you'll see I've just created a new project called list view example one. And the only thing that we're going to do or add to our layout at this stage is just a simple list view. So I'm going to go into text and let's make it a linear layout again. We're going to work with a linear layout and we can work with the Android orientation to be a vertical orientation. And I'm going to delete the text view there. And then what we can add to our layout is basically, oh, let's keep the, the text view there, but let's put it in the middle. And then if we go up, we need a list view. So we're going to drag in a list view there. So this is basically how it looks. We've got a text view at the top and we've got the list view. Now you can add some spacing if you like. So we can go to the layout uh, margin there. And for that one, we're going to set a bottom margin of, let's just make it 10 dp. So you can move down the list view a bit. So if you go into text, basically just looks like that. There's the text view and there's the simple list view. So very important if you're going to work with this list view is we need an ID for this list view. So you're going to double click it and we're going to give it the ID LV info. List view, LV for list view. So it's going to be list view info. And now we need to make a connection to this list view. So we're going to go to our main activity and let's make a connection to this list view. So it is a list view. So declare it as a list view and we call it LV info. Now to go and set it up, we're just going to say LV info equals list view. Find the view by its ID and r.id. LV info as we've declared it or given it the ID in the activity main. So it's called LV info and now we've got a connection to LV info. So at the top, let's do some other declarations on what we want to set to the list view. So I'm going to use an array list. Simple array list of type string. And you can for your import, just alt enter over it. So it's an array list string and we're going to call it list. So that will just be a list of items. Now let me just declare that list quickly. So we're going to say list equals new array list of type string again. And then to this list, we can add a few stuff. So we can go and say list.add. And this is now basically the elements that we want to place in that list view. So we're going to say list.add. Maybe we can add Android there. We can add. And remember, you can run this now from a database or wherever, where you just keep on adding with a for loop, you have this different data that you want to set to the list view. So we're going to use Android, maybe Blackberry. Let's add another one. So it's going to be list.add. Let's add the iPhone there. And then again, list.add. For the last one, we could add Windows Mobile. Okay, so let's say that's our list view. Now, if we want to set these items to this list view, we need to go and create an adapter that will help us with this. So we're going to declare an adapter at the top, array adapter. And this array adapter must also be the same type as basically the list that you're going to pass through. So this list is going to be a string. So I'm going to leave the array adapter as a string type and I'm going to call it adapter. Now, when we set it up, uh, let's just do it after the list. So we're going to say adapter equals new array adapter of type string and now in brackets there's a few stuff that we need to add the first one is the context so where is this list view basically situated and it is in this main activity so we're just going to pass in this or you can pass in main activity dot this the second argument is the layout file that you want to use so this layout file we're going to use the android default one so it's basically going to be android dot r dot layout 
dot and if you start typing simple you can see there's a simple list item one there's a simple list item two and so forth and then for the third argument we're going to add our data that we want to show to the list okay so basically the first argument the context second argument the layout file that we're going to use and we're using one of the android default layout files called simple list item one this r there is not the same as our r that we've got there this is part of the android package not of your own package so it's going to go to android.r.layout and it's going to search for simple list item one so this is the basic the most basic way of doing a list view in android Okay, so we've got the three arguments. The last argument there is the list of items that you want to set to it. And then we can go and say to this list info, LV info, we can go and say set adapter and then we can pass in that adapter. Okay, so let's quickly see what it does if we run this now. So I'm going to run it. There's the virtual device. And there we go. So there you can see there's our basic list view. It's got Android, Blackberry, iPhone, Windows Mobile. So that's a nice list view that we've got there. So this is basically the simplest form of a list view in Android. And that's just basically showing one element per line. So like we've got there, one element per line and showing nicely to the screen. Okay, so let's say we want to go and click those elements. So we're going to say LV info dot set instead of setting on click listener we're going to set on item click listener because they're all items that you can click so it's going to be an on item click listener and if you start typing new with a capital o there you'll see there's the on item click listener if you select it from the list it uh, creates the whole thing for you automatically and basically in this on click on item click method is what's going to happen when you click on one of the items and the one that we're really looking at at this stage is this position. So it's going to show you where in this list did you actually make the uh, the click. So in which position. Remember that Android there will be position 0. This one will be position 1, 2 and 3. It's basically exactly the same as what we've got in our list. So it's a, it's a duplicate of our list. And that exact same list will be in the list view. So basically what we can do here is to just show a simple toast there. So I'm going to just create a simple toast. And then instead of displaying anything as just raw text, we're going to display uh, the name of the item that you clicked. So we can go and say, well, let's go to list, which is the array list, dot get, which will get the object. And remember that we're getting string objects. So the object that we're going to get is either Android, Blackberry, iPhone or Windows Mobile. And we're going to look at the position that was passed through here for the one that was clicked. So we're going to say position. And basically it's going to go now when the guy clicks on a specific. If I'm going to click on Blackberry, that's at position number 101 for Blackberry. So it's going to go to 01. It's going to print out Blackberry. So it's going to go to list. It's going to get that specific position, which is position 1. And that position 1 will get that Blackberry there and print it to the screen. So let's just quickly have a look at it. Okay, and there we go. So now if I click on Android, you can see it shows the toast. If I click on Blackberry, it shows the toast. If I click on iPhone, I, it shows the toast. If I click on Windows Mobile, it shows it nicely. Now, the last thing I wanted to sh want to show you quickly about this list view is that what if we add something when we click on it? We add something to the list. So let's say if the guy clicks on position 1. So it's going to be the second item in the list. If the guy clicks on position one, we want to go to that list and we want to add another item just, just as an example. So let's just add, uh, let's just add iOS or whatever, anything. So if I'm going to run it now and I click on the second one in the list, position one, it's going to add one to the list. So let's run it quickly. 
say OK. OK, there it runs. And nothing was added to the list. You can see I, we, we've added iOS, but nothing actually happened to our list. So I can go and click on Android, Blackberry. OK, there was a problem there. Let's just run it again. So if I click on Android, showing nicely, click on Blackberry. Ah, it added it to the list. Clicked on iPhone, did nothing. Okay, so this one added it actually to the list and it will keep on adding to the list. And then if you if you scroll up and down, you can see that it works nicely. It's a nice list view uh, that you can actually use to scroll up and down. Okay, what we normally also do is to just go and say to this adapter of ours, so we're going to say this adapter that we declared there that we set uh, this list to, or the the list items to, we're going to say dot notify data set changed. So that's just to make sure that this adapter knows that this list has been changed. Now in our example there you can see it and in this case it actually works very nice. It keeps on adding hello. So it knows that the, the, the list has changed. But uh, some examples that we need to go and say the adapter just notify this adapter that the data set has been changed. So it will update the list view. And that's it for a simple list view in Android. I hope you've learned something. For the next video, we will look at how to create your own custom list view. Because at this stage, we can only set one item per line. And you can see there's another default one. If you go to simple list item two, it allows you to set two items per line. But let's say that we want to go and set some pictures. We want to have three lines or three text views per line and maybe another picture, a picture on the left and a picture on the right and whatever. So we can go and define how the uh, every single line in this list view actually looks. So that's what we're going to do in the next video. So stay tuned for the next video.